Hey guys, AG Sunny Sisters here. Today I am going to be showing you how to do this really cute bow braid and it's super easy so let's get started. So you want to start by brushing out your doll's hair with your water and your doll hair brush. You will need a bobby pin and an elastic and a, probably a doll with a side part will work the best with this hairstyle. You can braid around like that. You can go across the head. You know, either one works. So, what you want to start by doing, take your bobby pin and put it underneath this part right here. And just kind of get a little section of hair. Right like that. After you've got that section of hair, you just want to take it and make sure it's all brushed out take a bobby pin and put it in the hair make sure to get all the hair so yeah I'm not going to use an elastic just takes too much and just flip it over so next thing you want to do after you've got that out of the way you have this hair you take your finger at the top or another bobby pin which I have right here and you make a line down and across so now you kind of like have this giant section of hair and brush it out move it to the side and take the rest of the hair not including this and Tie it back with a ponytail. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're not going to keep this in. So now that you've got these two sections taken care of, you want to take this section that's down right now and just do a normal French braid in it. So make sure to start kind of at the corner up here and just try to make it pretty tight but not too tight just make sure it's not loose like you know don't make it like an Elsa braid or something and while I'm braiding I'm going to tell you that this is not my braid like not my idea at all I found a technique on it and so I decided to reteach it. So if you like do this hairstyle, don't give any credit to me because this is not my hairstyle. I just wanted to reteach it because I thought it was really cool and super easy. So yeah. And also, this is kind of like the prim braid in Catching Fire. I think it was Catching Fire. And she was wearing a bow braid and it was super pretty. So I had to learn how to braid like that. So once you get to the bottom, kind of like you don't really want this bottom hair. It just kind of got in there. Just finish it off with a normal braid. Make sure not to get any hair in there from the section you don't want. And tie it off with an elastic. Okay, so now you got like the easiest part done. So now this is the hardest part. It's as hard as it'll get. It's not that bad. So you want to take this section of hair and let it fall down loose and brush it out. I'm going to tie back this hair one more time just so that make sure none of it gets in there. So, what you want to do, you took that bobby pin out. You take this tiny section of hair from here, just flip the rest over, you know, don't really care about it. 
and just twist it up. I noticed when you twist it, it's easier. Move Isabel right here. Then after that, you take your bobby pin, if you can't see it, and put a finger in it like that. I know it might like pinch or something, but it's worth it. And then you take this little section and make a loop. After that, you stick the bobby pin in the hair like this, if you can see it. So don't take your finger out like that though, because that's going to be kind of hard to get it back in. So after you got it stuck in here, you take this little loop, put it through the bobby pin, don't pull it all the way out, and then hold the loop on this side and pull the, just pull the bobby pin through. And you got this super cute little bow right here. Just don't let that first section fall this one just kind of pull it and adjust it to what you want so you got your first loop right here and I will show you again at a different angle so I have my little section again and make sure it's wet and then twist it up and see how it's going over this? You don't want that. You just tuck it underneath. Even the little tail the bow has, you can tuck it underneath there. Make a loop once again. Take your bobby pin and separate it between your fingers so that it's fat. Push it underneath that stitch of your French braid and put that loop through, pull that hair underneath the braid, and you have your second braid. So really all you do is repeat this. I'm going to show you one more time and finish it off and show you what it looks like in the end. Take the section again, make sure it's not too big, and brush it out, spray it if you need to. Twist it. Tuck it underneath these little bows. Make your loop and take your bobby pin, put your finger in, tuck it underneath this braid, right like that, and put your loop through. Oh, it got caught in the hair, so just work with it. If it gets caught in the hair, just, you know, it'll, it doesn't really matter if it gets caught in the hair, just it's a little more messy if it does. But if you want a messy bow, then go ahead. I mean, it probably still look cute. So then you take your bow and adjust it how you want it. So now you have three bows. You want three to five bows for this braid probably, but if you were to go across the head, you would just take the section from the top, French braid, and you could just do it all the way down. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing it from the side because I think it looks better like that. So I will be back with the finished braid because I'm probably making you guys really bored because you probably already know this. So I will be back. 
So, I'm back. That probably wasn't at all a long break for you because these scenes are just going to be pasted together. But it was a couple minutes to finish these last two bows. And I really like how they turned out. I hope you guys try this on your doll because it's super adorable. And yeah, so I will show you a couple more pictures of this finished beautiful braid and you can go try it on your doll so that will be great make sure to subscribe to me if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and go follow me on instagram ag sunny sisters just all one word and thank you guys for watching and hopefully you'll watch my next tutorial next sunday and I'll see you then, so bye.